Apparently, a witness says that she was a part of a robbery at her bank. She can't do jail. Next Wednesday. I have a cousin, but her favors are kind of expensive. When the threats are mounting. I'd appreciate it if you respect the boundaries. It wouldn't be wise to threaten me. I feel a little nervous. You ain't the only one. It's time. I had you all wrong. Excuse me? I thought you were into a certain quality of men. To bring out the big guns. This is my cousin. Hi, I'm Matt. Tyler Perry's sisters. All new episode next Wednesday at 9. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing. So we are going to do a quick breakdown for Tyler Perry Sisters Season 5 and we are at Episode 5 already. So Episode 5 titled It's All About Who You Know. And of course, we know we are going to be meeting Madam this week. So I guess that's why the title is like that. So let's dive right into it. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely share my videos. Leave in the comments and tell me your thoughts. So we're going to start where the trailer starts, which is Andy having a conversation with Fatima. And she's selling Fatima the whole lowdown that happened with Sabrina, that Sabrina has been arrested. And apparently they have an eyewitness, Q who said that she was a part of the robbery. Now, Fatima is uh, like, what? And she is giving her, like, her two cents. Like, she has a cousin. She can help. Maybe she can pull some strings. Because we know Madam no judges. She no judges. She no lawyers. She knows police. She knows all of that. But Fatima is letting her know that, listen, my cousin can do you a favor and she'll probably get Sabrina out. However, these favors are kind of expensive. We know that when Madame calls on you, you don't say no. So Andy's going to be left in a situation where she definitely going to owe her one. And with all the per people that she knows, you know, she is going to call on that favor one day. Now, we know that Andy has to resort to Madame. I'm guessing the reason is because Robin is not willing to do any more favors for her, right? So we see in the trailer, we see Robin and Gary having a whole conversation and Robin, um, Gary saying something to Robin and Robin is like, I don't think it's wise for you to threaten me. Now we know Robin is big guns, top boss, and he knows all these persons. He has all these links. Um, so I'm guessing that he's run out of favors to do for Andy. The whole point being she's still sleeping with gary and she's stringing him along and he also found out that she slept with paris who works at the law firm as a janitor right so i'm guessing robin is kind of over the whole andy thing and the favors and then the sex and i'm guessing he's just tired of going in circles i'm assuming he really likes her and he doesn't want to be pulled around he doesn't want to be tagged along he wants to get into something with her, but only when she is ready or only if she's willing to do it a hundred and not be back and forth with Gary because it's like, okay, she sleeps with Robin, then she sleeps with Gary, then it's Robin, then it's Gary. And I'm thinking Robin is just over all that. Now, the next clip of the trailer that we're going to talk about is this meetup for this letter reading, right? now guys do you see the look on Aaron's face like he's in a candy store and he's just so excited to be around Karen like I don't understand how we get so excited to be around somebody that constantly just cusses him out and doesn't want to be around him but anyways he's excited so we're excited for him <laughs> and here we go with this meetup again so this meetup is supposed to be Karen reading the letters to tell these guys how she feels and whatever the case is so zach is there erin is there miss lisa is there and karen is supposed to be reading her letters i am so over this like why do we need to be going back it's like we're teenagers and okay we have to have a sit down because we have to get closure in order to move on man if this child is mine call me when the child is there or if we want to do a DNA test while that child is still in the room, we can do that. So we can find out now. Call me when the child is there and then we'll go from there. We don't need to have this whole sit down to tell me how you feel. Because at this point, how you feel does not matter to me. Because I'm, I've am i moved on in my relationship. I'm happy in my relationship. So you telling me that you love me and oh, your heart is still caught up. 
that is not going to make a difference for me because I've moved on. I'm engaged. Well, not on sisters yet, but I've moved on. Aaron is the one that you should be reading your feelings to because he's the one that's trailing you like a puppy. He is the one that you need to let you need to let him know. Like, listen, is either you like him or you don't like him. He's the one that you need to be reading that letter to. I don't think Zach should be a part of it at all. But that's just my opinion. But we know Tyler Perry. We have to go through the whole process with Tyler Perry. And then Tyler Perry is going to let us know why he did the whole letter reading. So I'm looking forward to hearing the letters too. But that's just my point of view on the whole letter situation. Now, the last part we're going to talk about is... So Fatima is going home, right? And she's with Andy. And we obviously see that when she gets home, we see her pulling out the big guns. And we're going to finally be seeing Madam in an episode. Now, I'm excited to see her dynamic in Sisters. I'm sure it's going to be the same Madam from All the Queen's Men. But I'm just excited to see where it goes and what she's about to do to help Sabrina get out of jail, right? I'm excited to see that now. I'm guessing that Zach is either going to come home and see her because he, she, Fatima did tell him that, listen, my cousin and the girls are going to be coming over. So by the time you get back, they're going to be there. So we might get to see that meeting her as well in this episode, or maybe they're going to put it off till next episode. But we see that Andy's excited to meet her and we know, look at her. Like Eva is just killing this role like literally killing this role she's amazing playing this madam character all right guys that was the breakdown there wasn't much to give from this episode but tell me in the comments what are your thoughts on what's going to happen in this week's episode and definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to the video